All right, this is Demonoclips in my T29 on Arctic region, I believe. Yes, Arctic region. I am tier seven. Tier tier seven is top tier. Top tank on our team is an IS. Hmm. I feel insulted by that. Oh well, I'm gonna go this way for Luna. Uh, whatever. No comment. Luna, well, I thought, well, I know, um, the moon, one of its, um, names is Luna, if I remember correctly, something along those lines. It's just like, our sun is called Sol, if I remember correctly, Earth is the planet Earth, our moon is the moon of Earth, but we call it Sol, like, or a Luna or something like that, I can't remember. Don't ask me bad, funny questions. I can't remember everything. It's pronounced brony. <laughs> okay, chat is chat. It is full of dumb people saying dumb things. Who wants to scare the shit out of the stug? I do, I do. I want to scare the shit out of the stug. Fire at me, I dare you! <laughs> so like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, they're probably crapping their pants. Ugh. Did you really think that was gonna hurt me? Oh, hello, Ram. You're on fire. Hurry up and get over here, you morons! Man, someone just got stuck on something. Embarrassing. SU-100 behind us for some reason. And if you just guys just realized that you swarm, you'd swarm me, I would not stand a chance. Unfortunately, none of you have the guts to do so. Come on. Someone actually hurt me. Amazing. I think that's because they shot me, yeah, uh, right there. Fucking gun mantles. Looks like their um, T-29 was AFK. I guess he hit, must have hit me in the... And we got a little shit with the bad sounding gun. I'm, I'm serious, that gun is a disgrace. And is that guy stock? You had a tiger? I don't see no tiger. Leave 
leave me alone. We didn't even scratch it, mate. That's my bullet hole. Clips here. Still having the same problems as usual with me, usual problems that I have with my settings and such and so forth. ending up lowering stuff to try to get better frame rate out of it and all that other jazz but it just doesn't seem to work sometimes PZ3 I remember when I used to be able to shoot one shot PZ3s unfortunately I can't do that with this gun because it doesn't have enough diameter to it and as we know diameter equals damage in this game don't ask me how it actually makes all it all makes perfect sense but once you try you start thinking about it once in a while it just doesn't I mean I go a higher level I expect a better a better gun that does more damage and then I get a smaller gun that has better penetration but not as much damage and this guy should die in the next hit by whoever's gonna shoot him so none of my business okay I'm gonna turn myself this way just in case someone does see me as, as you know, 200 millimeters of armor at around 200 meters or so is kind of a bitch to go through. And aim at the correct spots to make sure you can actually hurt them. They should reappear somewhere around here. Okay, no, I guess not. Come on, back up a bit more. Okay, forget about this shit. Okay, I'm just going to go across this way. Second, wait a second. I don't think anyone can actually see me from over there. Damn it. Underestimated you once. Come on, come on, reload. Well, he's dead. Well, I got one kill so far. It's not that bad. Unfortunately, the guy was like two or three, three or four levels below me. <laughs> so, yeah, it is kind of bad. And our kill ratios are currently 7 to 3. That guy is still alive somehow. I'm not entirely sure how at the moment. South. Building's in the way. And then building is... Still in the way. Fuck. Does that little shit get killed yet? Nope, he's still alive. Somehow he's still alive. Two hundred millimeters of armor. Learn it, live it, love it when you're playing it, hate it when you're not. Amazing, that guy actually hurt me. Fortunately, I can't hit him because my gun is not accurate enough. Kind of a missed honor since uh, the one thing touted about 
the German tanks was their accuracy. Is he still playing? Oh well. I know I can get that PZ-4 before he can get me, but it doesn't really matter. Really? Hate these angles. Fucking artillery. Shoot at something, you morons! Alright. Here I am in my heads are on. Ruinberg. As some of you well know, uh, the Hetzer has many exclusive components, including many of its engines and its radio. And right now, I'm completely foregoing the radio simply due to that fact, because I don't want to grind away extra time in a horrible tank in order to get a good tank, ink, and then just grind away more time to get radios that are exclusive to the horrible tank. It may be good for um, that maxing out crap, but I don't want to do that with a tank that I don't care about, because I will never, ever, ever use this tank ever again. Like... In beta, I was using the Martyr a lot. I upgraded it. Think of the Hetzer would be here, probably be a good tank. Nope. Three games in it, and I couldn't stand it, even with all the upgraded stuff, because in beta, we got like 50 gold a day. I wish all the beta testers would have gotten bronze accounts or something like that, where we get like two gold a day or something. Just something to show their appreciation, rather than just saying, you're a beta tester. I know I'm going to die here real quick, just as I always do. Because I can't see more than 200 meters. Okay, he can see much farther than me. I don't know how far he can see, but he just passed by. There's a BDRG-1B. I can most certainly be hurt by that. There's a Stug. C8 is fighting the T50 in the next alley over and is getting no support. T50 just died and then the EZ8 just died by a Wolverine. Where the hell's that Stug? Fuck! Who feels screwed? Here's a fun little notion. Uh, I was looking through the um, equipment on the BDRG-1B and the starter gun appears to be the same gun that is used by the AMX-40. Now I may have to look into it a little bit more, but it looks like if you unlock the BDRG-1B, you automatically get the top gun on the AMX-40. Not that it doesn't suck, just that it's good to know it's there. Now, 
I mean, it might be one, as you can see, the giant tin brick. Because I got no armor, very little speed. I mean, I got great get up and go, but I got no speed. It's kind of like the T1 heavy tank in that respect. And I'm shooting very bad bullets. I guess someone is testing out their new gun because of the, um, I think it works that way for some of the tanks. I'm going to have to, like, when I sell a tank, I'm going to have to go back to the low tiers and just test it for a short while to see if the gun works about the same way as the French um, revolver system does. If uh, one of my viewers has that one of the low tier tanks with the multi-round firing tank and uh, they can test that for me, that'd be great. Because I really don't want to go back to low tiers. I mean, some of them are fun, but don't get me wrong. The only one I really found fun was the M2 medium tank with the 75 derp. But again, uh, nerf is nerf. Don't argue with me on that. This gun sucks! I can't hit the broadside of a barn. It aims okay, but that's still not very good. Come on, come on, come on. Got him. I want to know where the hell artillery is. The T-28, eh? Damn it. So easy for them to hide behind hills and shit. Eight kills, four deaths. If I move forward, I will probably die. What's, what's the KV? No, the KV is good. Why the hell is he hiding back there? Yeah, the KV's got the 107. Why the hell is he hiding? Probably gonna damn it. Manage off for a fat fucker. Leave me alone. Come on, catch up with me, guys. Come on, catch up, catch up, catch up. Okay. Because I don't want my death to be in vain. I want you guys to be able to kill whatever killed me. That sounded close. There you are, you little shithead. Yes, I got a kill. I'm going to die now. And he was something to be worried about.
And the PZ-4 is going to die soon, hopefully. Looks like he's got a stug on him right now. I think that's a stug anyways. <sighs> KV, you suck. And we'll just sit here for the remainder of the game. Needless to say, that's the first game I've ever been in with my B1, where it was a, such a rebound, rebounding victory. I killed two T28s. <laughs> Damaged M3 Lee in a grill. Detected a the B1. <sighs> yep. Unfortunately, I got crap for it. All right. Last match for this video. Current tier spread is two tiers, three and two. I am bottom tank. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. That's the first time that's ever happened. Odd. There's no upgrade. Blah, just wasting time. <laughs> uh, Tetrarch, Tetrarch, Tetrarch. You free 45 millimeter spewing POS. Actually, not that bad. If you drive it right. Ooh, the... Why'd you just stop? Oh well. You never get answers out of some of the morons. There's a BT-2. My god gun hit the goddamn target! Push the pull the trigger, god damn it! Not five seconds later. Like I'm clicking and it won't shoot. Then when it finally does click, it's not on target. Freak's sake! For how many freaking sake? This has been the last video in this match. This has been Demonocalypse. Thanks for watching. Hello, this is Demonocalypse. All right, All right now. I'm monitored, monitoring and recording every single match I go into. Now, this could be both good and bad. Because um, if I start off a video, like say this is Demonocalypse, that's going to be the start of a video no matter how good the match was. In this case, it's a 4-2 spread, 8-5. to five, And I am bottom tank in my T-34, as you can plainly see. Right, right, right now, I'm planning on going over there because once in a while it works out well. However, I'm usually a mid-tier tank when I do this, not a low tier. And 55 kilometers an hour really seems really, really slow right now for some reason. Got to 56. Let me hear you, little shithead. Oh, wonderful. Type 59, beautiful. Just my friggin' luck. I have no idea how that happened, but I bounced the shot from that Type 59. I kind of figured that would happen. Like I was saying, start of a match, start of video is start of video, end of the middle, video is end, end of the video. If I cut something out in between and I just cut it and don't refer to it anywhere else in the video, you guys don't know the difference. And right now, I could have maybe four or five videos up every single day if I really wanted to but I think that'd be oversaturating it a little bit too much I think one video a day is oversaturating it too much 
um, at this point, I think it's safe to put out maybe two to three videos a week until I can find some better gameplay. Now, once um, I get a better computer and such, Yeah, once I get a better computer, what I plan on doing is um, trying to get into a clan and then eSport cast the uh, clan matches. Um, you know, like gather up all their replays, go through everything, get everything from every, everyone's point of view. And um, I think it'd be a lot of work, but I think it would also be a lot of fun too. Because I think this game does have eSports potential. Um you just have to cast it correctly and like some of the things have to be fixed we know that I think the trees are blocking their view of me maybe I don't I honestly don't know Because no one's really shooting at me. That has me a little worried. Damn it. IS-4. Tiger. Lorraine, 40 ton. Type 59. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Can you play peekaboo a little bit, little guy? Ah, fuck, fuck, fuck. Damn it. Well, that was amazing. I wonder what tried to shoot me. <laughs> I got a massive ass. I can't see that far. Of course. What shot me? Yeah, Type 59? Probably one of the twos over there, but I wish I knew where he had actually hit me when I died. And I think I'm getting in a rut. Maybe, maybe not. I tried to play tra some Tribes of Sen today, however... Um... Let me think how's the best way to say this. I couldn't connect to their server for some reason, or there was some problem with my game. And then I had to completely uninstall it manually, meaning remove all the files manually, going to programs and settings, and, um... Removing it manually, and then, um, reinstalling it, trying to play it again. However, some really freaking ass weird bug popped up, and I haven't even attempted to play it ever since. I'm going to go into a little bit of a DC Universe Online after this. Um, let me think, where am I going to go? I'm going to go through the alley. I, haven't, I don't go that way very often. I see what's in the way. The fountain's in the way. Oh, please, like you're gonna be able to hit me. I'm not gonna be able to penetrate his turret and all that. And two KV-5s. What did I do to deserve this punishment? I really gotta think about investing in a gun rammer eventually.
right track and fuel tank hurt? Cry me freaking sakes. This guy's shooting at his freaking gold rounds. Come on, hit the target already! Fuck's sake. Oh, that's gonna help. That's definitely gonna help. Fuck this shit. I'm going across. And we're losing! Amazing, right? Oh, Pershing shot. I got shot by something else first. Because I had like 400 health left. And I was just wondering, how did he do that much damage in one shot? Shorter video. This will be my last match this video. I'll probably stick around to the very end for this one. Depending upon how I do, of course. Yeah. Right now, it'd be very easy for me to oversaturate the market on my gameplays and just completely go all out, record everything I play at every instance, every second, and you guys would get so bored that everyone would um, unsubscribe. Um, I'm kind of afraid of that, I guess you could say. I mean, there's worse instances that things could happen. I mean, I could get blacklisted or some damn shit, but I don't really see that as, as much of a problem as of yet. Probably not. All right, let's see. What are the upgrades I need on this tank? Gun, turret, tracks, engine. Come on, get over there. God damn it! Bullet go straight. I fired the gun. I expect the bullet to at least try to go straight instead of just going down. It's like they didn't even put the proper amount of uh, powder in the freaking shell. Seven, eight. Probably not even there, but if he was, I wanted to scare the shit out of him. I don't even think I succeeded in doing that. Looks like we're gonna lose. Early game prediction, I don't think it's true, but it happens. The guy next to me has the 90 millimeter. Ah, shit. Can't see Jack. Shit, can't see. Oh, it went right through. No, it didn't. We went right through it, go do damage! But is it doing damage? No, it's not! Oh, this is pathetic! Who thought it'd be a good idea to give them so much freaking armor at such a freaking high grade? Fire! Oh, it finally goes straight, wonderful. Go straight at the second moment, I don't want it to go straight. I'm dead. See? 
knew something would shoot me rather sooner rather than later. And like I said, we probably will lose. I'm sorry, but the Type 59, I don't even know why they put it in the fucking game. It's just so screwy. I mean, like, everyone says, just aim for the bill. You saw me. My shell hit the bill. It bounced off the bill. Technically, that area, you're, it's also it's supposed to apply, like, what? 45 millimeters of armor or something? Well, apparently not. I think they completely took that out of the freaking equation, and now you just can't penetrate it whatsoever. And that's why they're removing it from the game. Because they put in a bad tank that was improperly balanced, and then they, then they made it even more unbalanced, and now they're just removing it completely. I think they already did it, but I don't know. I'd have to check the um, garage for that. <sighs> Anyways, yes, it would be, be entirely possible for me to completely oversaturate the market completely on so many levels just with um, gameplays. I mean, I probably game way too much for my own good, and I know that. But frankly, I just don't care. I mean, if I have fun, most of the time I do. Once in a while, I'm in these situations it's like, what the fuck was Matchmaker thinking? What the fuck was the devs thinking? I mean, I'm in tier 7. Here's a tier 8. I can't penetrate his front armor or turret. What the hell is that bullshit? And yes, I'm using the top penetration for my tier. For my... Well, my tank anyways. 175 is as good as I get it. Which is bullshit, in my opinion. My gun is completely underpowered. We only have one guy left, this E-75, and he's going to die soon here. With these Pershings and... Well, the T-59 or whatever the hell it was, realized that... The Type 59 realized he can pen with the um, armor piercing. The Pershing, as of yet, hasn't. Because the E75 only has 160 millimeters of armor on the sides. Or 120. I can't remember which one is um, turned much of base. Other, anyways, it's like 120 or something. I wouldn't be able to hurt it with my... Um... If nothing else, if he survives... Well, he didn't survive, so... Yeah. Right now, I think I'm just reaching saturation port point anyways. And I lost money on this because of the fucking unbalanced teams. The unbalanced everything. Don't tell me I don't know how to aim. I do. It's just that the gun cannot hurt him. I do not understand how I didn't make more credits off of that. Whatever. This has been Demonocalypse. Thank you for watching.